Nice. Now let's get the hell out of here. They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon! He didn't have Clem! So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck! Just... Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. How you doing with, uh... everything happening there? We were going to cut it off. But Lee objected. We're all gonna end up one of two ways. That's great that you can be tough about it, but how do you feel? It comes in waves. I took a couple spills getting back here. So keep an eye on me. <sighs> Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Krista's right. The boat was a pipe dream. We still go after Clem, and then we get out of Savannah and rethink our entire plan. Rethink? How about we just think for once? That's what I'm saying we do. Calm down, Kenny. Yeah, chill. We can do this in the yard. Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. Dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Kenny, stop! No, let him. I am so, so... So sorry about Katya and Duck. I am. And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead. No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive, or dead, or walkers, or worse, and I don't know! So give me a fucking break! Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista! Get on the windows in the front room. Check the boards. Got it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben. Kill anything that gets in. You know you're talking to me, right? Ben, just do it. 
Omi! What is it? Everyone, help Omi now! Lee, help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! seems dirty to me. I think we're fine. Sturdy my ass! Get upstairs! Go! Okay. Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the Third. Industrial... Mead? Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So, no ideas then. There's gotta be another way. Check the floor for any other access, a vent, anything. Or we wait for the house to clear out and stick to the high ground. Whoa, Lee, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. 
Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Like I said, everyone needs to keep looking for a way out, damn it. We're trapped in here. How long you think we have? What? I... I don't know. We should have made you take it off. Well, you didn't. And it's too late now. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. I think it'd be best if we just worried about getting to Clem right now. We're not gonna do her any good if you've attacked us. That isn't gonna happen. How do you know that? Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me! We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. You're not touching me. Do you understand that? You know exactly what to do if I turn, and that's enough. Do you hear me? You might become one of them! You understand that? How can you be fucking calm about that? Ah! You ruined that dude's face. Shut up, sweetie. Look! It's corroded to hell. What's on the other side of this wall? A 30-foot drop? No. This mansion butts up against the one next door. Oh, they d <laughs> This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. I wasn't gonna hurt you. Sure, pal. I know. you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. He probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us, which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing. It happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. Just wham! Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. Wish you would have taken it off. Don't think it matters much now. I'm losing a lot of feeling in it. Really? Yeah. It's hot, like when you break a bone. But tingly, like it's asleep. <sighs> so when we get this guy, what do you think? sure he never takes anybody for anyone again. He's got enough evil in it. And, you know, whatever happens to you, uh... Seriously, can we not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I'm bitter, Krista. We all know that's a wrap. There's gotta be something. I want you guys to take her. Stop it. I'm serious. She'd be safe and relatively happy with you. Two. We're not doing this right now. Krista, listen to him. It's what I want, okay? What about him? What do you two think? He's a risk to the group, but... I feel bad for him. Yeah. 
I feel bad for him, too. He loses shit like that often? Yeah, that was a first. It's good that he did. Kenny couldn't pull that shit on me. He better not do it again. He ruined Kenny's life. Outbursts like that aren't fucking appropriate. You do feel bad for him, though, right? Well, seems like it got through to Kenny. Whatever that's good for. All right. I'm out of gas. You look good and rested. Sure. If you don't count an infected leg. You want me to do it? Nah, hun. You can hop in after me. Shouldn't be long now. It's good we're forced to take a breath. I still can't believe you went and got chomped. Just... Fucking hell. At least he told us. Took some brass. I don't think I would've. How are you? I'm... Uh, I don't know how to answer that. I'm sorry. But you've lost more than anyone. It'll be all right, kid. Why are you acting like what's happened ain't happened? Anyway, I appreciate it from both of you. A lot of us have lost families. tell you much about what we've been through? Bits and pieces. Before y'all, we had this woman, Lily, with us. Lord knows where she is now. Anyway, we had to make some tough calls with her dad. She came between Lee and I pretty good. I spent a lot of nights hating this guy's guts. I'm sorry for hurting you in any way, Kenny. It's impossible to go through life without causing some sort of pain. Sometimes I can't help but wonder if I could have caused a little less. You and me both, Doc. Well, cheers. seems pretty sealed off. Well... Keep moving. Gotta go. Yeah. We've seen so many people. I don't know why these ones break my heart. What's heartbreaking is not giving yourself a chance. It's what Katya did. Jesus. I'm sorry, kid. She left me. My son. People that cared about us. I forgive her, but it don't make it any less wrong. You don't just end it, because it's hard. You stick it out, and you help the folks you care about. So let's figure a way out of here and get that little girl. We should move. Yeah. Got at least one shot left. Let's clear the room before we move on. Lee, figure out where we're headed. is full too. 
Stay quiet. Ask me how I'm doing. Let's just keep going. Lee, you okay? Yeah. Let's keep at it. I guess Crawford would have gotten them anyway. Judging by the decor of this room, I guess they were PBS watchers. Hey, my parents' house looked a lot like this. And they watch kung fu movies. Just saying. Hard to believe the world once felt this peaceful. You still with us, bit? Yeah, Lee. I just want to help. Sick, but think of all the pain they avoided. What do you call this thing? Art? <laughs> 